A new video game depicting the war in Afghanistan is coming under fire tonight. The U.S. military won't allow the latest installment of Medal of Honor to be sold on its bases because gamers can portray the Taliban and shoot American soldiers. As Peter Harris reports, the game is also hitting a nerve in Canada. The blast of a virtual car bomb hitting far too close to home. The latest Medal of Honor video game hits shelves next month, but won't be everywhere. The U.S. military banned it from being sold on any U.S. bases. Set in Afghanistan, players can choose to be Taliban fighters gunning down American soldiers when they go head-to-head -head against other players. Putting the Taliban in gamers' hands as Canadian soldiers continue to die at the hands of insurgents makes Peter McKay very uneasy. Invokes images that we absolutely uh, want to avoid and that is having young people or anyone for that matter participating in a, in a mock-up or a game that would enable them to shoot at coalition forces. Still, McKay says there's no plan for a ban on Canadian bases. Electronic Arts produced the game and used U.S. Special Forces as consultants. We're at war. What are you willing to do? In a statement, EA says, we feel a deep sympathy and respect for the soldiers and people with family members killed or wounded in Afghanistan. Distorting the virtual line between reality and play is nothing new. Last year's top-selling Call of Duty pit players as terrorists targeting civilians. In Grand Theft Auto, you can kill cops, steal and beat your way through a virtual world. This game takes the mix of reality and gaming even further. Produced by the U.S. military, the aim of America's army is to recruit new soldiers. Mike Cormier has been selling video games for over a decade and thinks a game is just a game. There's good guys, bad guys, and everything at all. Like always, um, I don't, I don't see a problem myself. Like it's like to me, like you know, a movie is a movie. You know, it's a fun, entertaining thing to watch. Uh, video games the same way to me. Entertainment that is getting too real for some. Peter Harris, Global News, Ottawa. For the first time, Facebook has knocked Google off its purchase, King of the Web. Internet surfers spent 41 million minutes on the social networking site last month, accounting for nearly 10% of their total time online. And that compares to 39 million minutes spent on all Google sites combined, including YouTube and Gmail. Facebook, which now boasts 500 million users, has been aggressively pushing new features to help keep people engaged. Canada's largest communications company, BCE, has scored a $1.3 billion deal to take full control of CTV. The company already owned 15% of the network, but wants to snap up the remaining stake pending regulatory approval. On the markets today, the loonie fell more than a tenth of a cent. The TSX was up from